Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Borzy, and for the past month, I have been using Palm Grip, and it has all led up to this video where I'm going to state my conclusion on the redacted mouse grip. Um, I'm going to talk about everything, an all-encompassing Palm Grip video about my transition and journey. First thing I want to talk about, the only mouse that I could ever, like, actually comfortably Palm Grip is the Razer Death Adder V2. Um, I've tried so many mouse shapes. Like, just look at my channel. All of those mice none of them work aside from this actually um some old steel series mouse work but that shit fucking sucked so i just decided to use this as well even the vaxi outside ax but whatever that is not the point the point is whether or not palm grip makes you worse and honestly i don't think it does um it took me a while to get used to for sure and i had to tinker with my sensitivity but that might have just been because the mouse was so heavy uh, my main gripe with palm grip after using it for so long is just my inability to do it on like any fucking mouse but then again 11 centimeter wide hands is wider than most um if you have small hands i couldn't really imagine it like imagine fucking palm gripping a hot es that's just weird as hell to think about and now here's something I want to address because it is often perpetuated by like palm grip truthers are like, oh, it's so much more comfortable. And like maybe if you're like fucking 50 and your hands are decaying, but if you have zoomer hands, I don't think there's anything like inherently more comfortable about palm grip than fingertip or claw. People are like, oh, you just let your hand rest on the mouse naturally. And like, couldn't you just say the exact same? Like, oh, you're just letting your fingertips rest on the mouse naturally. I don't know. Um, I don't really see it. I think that just use whatever feels the best for you. That's probably the best option. I used to follow that up by saying, except for palm. Um, but if your mouse shape works with you for palm, I would say um, I don't think there's anything necessarily worse about it. Obviously, losing the ability to aim with your fingers, that will matter to some people more than most depending on how much you use your fingers. Um, for me, I just had to turn my sense up. Um, I know that some people do the opposite. They do like fucking 70 CM palm grip, and that is not for me. Um, I was on like 15 to 20 CM, and uh, it felt really weird, but I do feel like I had a lot of stability because the death adder shape actually works for my wide hands. And after using palm grip for a while, I've learned that like shape matters most for this grip. Like just think about it. I can palm grip on like three out of 60 mice. I can fingertip on like almost every mouse I own. And uh, for claw, you can pull off a claw grip on a lot of mice, but it's really the hump that determines if you're gonna like it and the flatness of the sides, I'd say. Keep in mind, everything that I say about, like, mouse shapes and shit is relative to my hand size, and I know that there have been, like, a few people saying that hand size doesn't matter for mice, and I would just want you to explain why I can palm grip the normal Death Adder V2, um, but the V2 Mini, I can just not fit my pinky finger on. Um, so that would, if anybody can explain that to me, aside from hand size, that would be amazing. Um, and I guess what else is there to talk about? Oh, how to actually palm grip. This was something that I never understood. And I think a lot of non palm grippers might not either. I thought since the name was palm grip that you would lead with the palm. But it turns out you just lead with your fingers and then just let your palm like fall onto the mouse. It's really fucking weird. Um, my understanding of palm grip was that it was a grip of the mouse where your entire palm encompasses the mouse. And I was like, why the fuck would anybody use this? Um, so I guess nobody does use it. So it makes sense that I was opposed to this weird character caricature of palm grip that I had in my head. But yeah, it turns out in real life that palm grip's basically just relaxed fingertip that's even more relaxed. This is like basically how fucking Rocket Jump Ninja grips his mouse. Um, Rocket Jump Ninja the goat, long live jaw. Um, but yeah, I don't really know. I feel like at the end of the day, it is a mouse grip. I would say that the mouse you have matters more than the way you grip it. And uh, I would never recommend like copying somebody's grip style. That will 100% not make you better. Um, it's possible that maybe your natural grip style is just fucked. Like if you're gripping a mouse like this um, but if you're doing like one of the main three grip styles and not in some sort of hybrid way um, I feel like just practicing is what will probably help you get best at aiming not just trying to like min max your grip style and at first when I started my transition I wasn't passing I wasn't fitting in and it was all super scary um, but then I just used the mouse more and I used it exclusively so I guess shout out to the mouse drought um, companies not releasing any mice because it allowed me to use the death adder for basically a month um, not uninterrupted obviously but as my main mouse um, and palm gripping it 
I thought I was going to hate it more. Like, I would not think I would be here today thinking, oh, I, I could palm grip for another month if you wanted me to. I thought I was going to absolutely loathe the experience, fucking suck at aiming, um, but really, nah. Also, I'll talk about my aiming experience with Palm Grip, but first I want to mention this is an Artisan X soft pad, and I was using Palm Grip, a heavy mouse, putting tons of pressure, and I still can't get this shit to sink in. It's a myth. Artisan X soft is not too soft. I don't know if this is necessarily a benefit, but with Palm Grip, I was able to put way more pressure on the mouse than I was with any other grip style. It's like a good way to get like some stopping power if you need, but I don't think like gripping your mouse that hard at all times would really be a benefit but i know that a lot of people certainly do it uh, but yeah even when i do grip that hard and like swipe into the x soft it just doesn't fucking sink that's just not how the surface works and I did realize that over time with palm grip, my tracking was on average a bit better. Um, it wasn't a drastic difference, but sometimes with light mice, I will be a lot more shaky and less consistent. Um, but palm gripping a heavier mouse on high sense um, and a relatively fast pad. I did use fast pads for the most of the time. I was not sitting there on fucking mud pads palm gripping. That just seems miserable. Um, and yeah, my tracking did seem to be pretty good. I was playing mainly Krunker, tried to play fucking Fortnite, um, but man, that game is just in a terrible state and i don't know what else to play I tried to play fucking warzone i was getting 100 fps help me and i know i promised a scientific study on palm grip um but if you cannot tell that just never went through i re i started it i got to the uh, middle of the introduction and then i realized i was gonna have to write about the methods and i was like no nah, i'd rather just make a video um so yeah this has been that and palm grip will not be my new main tragic i hate to say it. it's mainly due to the compatibility issues like i just can't palm grip so many mice and people are like oh just curl your fingers and then the right side won't be an issue and yeah this just is no longer a palm grip though sadly i do think that the name of palm grip should be changed because if you're not attacking the mouse with your palm why is it a palm grip if you're leading with your fingers like putting your fingers in a comfortable position then just like letting your palm go on it this is a grip that is ultimately led by the fingers. Um, so I don't know. I, I guess like discussing the semantics isn't really worth it. Um, but yeah, I'm probably not going to be making much more mouse grip content. Um, aside from a razor grip tape review, holy fuck, what a segue. But yeah, I guess I can show what would have been of the study questioning palm grip based or beta. I guess to answer it, um, closer to based than beta. Um, but yeah, this was the intro. Took much pride in the uh, virtually exclusively the right hand. Ah, what a joke. Um, just like this entire video. Um, make sure to leave a like and sub. Peace. And here's one clip to get this video to eight minutes. Thank you very much for watching.